All right, this video is going to be about adding, subtracting, multiplying, possibly dividing complex numbers uh, in the form a plus bi. We might not get to dividing, and I'll come back and do that in a different video if that's the case. Um, so let's start out with uh, some addition. So let's say I have uh, 3 plus 5i, so that's one complex number, plus 4 minus 6i. So the second complex number is 4 minus 6i. And what I'm going to do is this. Uh, you want to add the real part, so I'm going to add 3 and 4 to get 7. And then you want to add the imaginary parts. So that's positive 5i plus negative 6i, and that's going to give me minus i. And that's really all there is to it. Um, so you're just kind of combining like terms in these problems. So let's say we have the problem uh, 5 minus 8i minus the quantity 7 plus 4i. So using parentheses is kind of important with these sorts of things because you have to remember to distribute that negative sign. Uh, so let's do... 5 minus 7, so that's going to give me negative 2, so that's the real minus the real. And now I'm going to do negative 8i and then minus 4i, so that's negative 8i minus 4i, and that's going to give me negative 12i. And sometimes you'll see problems where, um, where there are x's and y's, and it's kind of like a sneaky way to set up a system of equations you have to solve. So this one's uh, not the hardest you'll encounter, but... We have the complex number 2x plus 3y times i. Um, so x and y are going to be uh, real numbers that I'm going to have to solve for. And then plus 5x minus 2y i. So uh, x and y, again, it's the same uh, real numbers, but I'm going to have to figure out how to solve that. And then when you add those together, you can get 14 plus 6i. So let's see what happens. I'm going to add the real parts. So those are the things that don't have i uh, involved. And that's 2x plus 5x, so that's 7x. And then what does that equal? Well, that's going to have to equal the real part over here, which is 14. So 7x equals 14, and I can pretty easily solve that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the i part. So I have uh, 3y plus negative 2y, and that's just y uh, times i. And then that has to be equal to the imaginary part over here. So that has to be equal to 6i. And, I mean, I had the option. I didn't really need to write the i both times. I'm going to write it, divide it out immediately, so it's not going to really impact anything, but it was there. Um, 7x equals 14 gives me x equals 2. And then uh, yi equals 6i means that y must be equal to 6. Um, and those are my solutions. So that's how you would add or subtract complex numbers. And the next thing we're going to do is take a look at multiplying complex numbers. So let's say we have 3 minus 4i, and we want to multiply that by the quantity 5 plus 2i. Um, so this is a lot like multiplying uh, binomials. Actually, it's almost identical to multiplying binomials. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to write it as 3 times the quantity 5 plus 2i, and then uh, minus 4i times the quantity 5 plus 2i. So what I'm doing is I'm using the distributed property. I'm going to do all the problems like this. Um, it's very easy to remember. So it's the first thing times that whole second quantity, and then the second thing times that whole second quantity. Um, so the first thing from the first quantity, uh, and then the second thing from the first quantity. Uh, so we get this, and now it's just a matter of distributing and collecting terms. So 3 times 5 is going to give me 15, and then 3 times 2i is going to give me plus 6i. And then I'm going to do negative 4i times 5 is negative 20i. And then negative 4i times 2i is negative 8i squared. Okay, so if I recopy something, so I have 15 plus 6i minus 20i. Now I look at this next term here, the minus 8i squared, and I think to myself, well, I know that i squared is equal to negative 1. So really that's minus 8 times negative 1, and that would give me plus 8. So I do that, and now what I do is combine the real part. So 15 plus 8 is going to give me 23. And then 6i minus 20i is going to give me minus 14i. And that's my answer. Okay? So let's do one more of these. So say we have negative uh, 5 plus 3i times 6 plus 4i. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the distributed property. So it's negative 5 times the quantity 6 plus 4i and then plus 3i times the quantity 6 plus 4i. All right, so that's how we start using the distributed property, and now we're just going to go through it. So it's negative 5 times 6, which is negative 30. Negative 5 times 4i is negative 20i, 
And now we're on to 3i times 6 gives me plus 18i. And 3i times 4i is going to give me plus 12i squared. So there's that i squared. That's going to come up when you're multiplying complex numbers a lot. Um, so what I can do is kind of recopy it. So a negative 30 and then minus 20i plus 18i. And then again, i squared is negative 1. So the plus 12 times i squared becomes minus 12. So combine the real terms to get minus 42. Combine the imaginary terms to get minus 2i. And that's our answer. So that's adding, subtracting, and multiplying. The video is kind of running long. So what I'll do is come back and do uh, dividing in a separate video. And I hope this was helpful. So good luck.